the U.S. Army. But first on the rundown tonight at 530, there is a concern about a number of cancer cases in one particular place in Albion. It's in a school and the Teachers Association is asking for experts to take a look at what's happening. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing is here to explain. When a teacher at the Ronald Sedoma Elementary School in Albion was diagnosed with breast cancer last year, she was not alone. The Albion Teachers Association compiled a list and they say there are 22 teachers or staff who have been diagnosed with breast cancer at the elementary school over the last 20 years. They say the building where most of the staff and teachers worked and became ill was in the original school building from the 1950s. Is this a cause for alarm? We asked a medical expert at Roswell. Because it's a small community, it is startling to look at. Albion teachers asked the district to look into it. Superintendent Michael Bonwell declined an on-camera interview and did not want to alarm parents, teachers, or students, but he did tell me the concerns were presented to him last spring. He says the medical director for the Albion School District indicated that the number of breast cancer cases is lower than the national average. Teachers want outside experts to weigh in, and they will. The superintendent told me given the concern, they are asking the Cornell University School of Industrial and Labor Relations Workplace Health and Safety Program, the Orleans County Health Department, and the New York State Health Department to review the situation. They need a certain number of cases within a certain amount of time. Um, they'll take a look at you know, histories, how long have folks worked there, how long, you know, where do they live. Teachers want a review of air and water quality and environmental factors also at the building. There's not a lot of concrete evidence at this point about environmental exposures causing breast cancer. And Roswell worked with the state health department last year on a suspected cancer cluster analysis involving a neighborhood between Buffalo and Cheektowaga. Now the expert that we spoke with says the Albion superintendent is doing a good thing by having health officials look into this, investigate so they can decide what to do and if in fact there is anything wrong. Claudia, do, do they know how long these studies are going to take? That is a question that I asked Roswell today, and they say that it can take months. Research is ongoing, and there really is no timetable. And by the way, Cornell has been doing a study for years about environmental exposure when it comes to breast cancer. Nothing concrete just yet, but it is good that Albion is at least looking into this, and teachers want them to do this. Absolutely. Because 22, yeah, right. over a number of years, though. Yeah, I mean, it, it certainly concerns everyone, but there is a lifestyle factor. There's Absolutely. a genetic component. Mm -hmm. There's so many things so they many study in a cluster.